What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. I'm Keegan and today we're doing a review of Isoflex's peanut butter chocolate protein. Uh, now for all of you who don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know if you're in the fitness industry, but Isoflex has been around in the fitness industry for a very long time. Um, pretty much as long as I have been working out, which is 13, 15 years. God, I'm old point is they've been around a long time they're old heads in the fitness industry and today we're going to be taking a look at their protein uh, and seeing how it stacks up before we start the video please go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button of course throw a comment down it helps me with the algorithm gives this video some traction youtube really loves it when people interact with videos so go ahead interact do those things it really helps me out and of course the comment can give you the opportunity to influence the content on this channel which is just a huge win-win for both of us you get to see what you want. I get the interaction which helps with the algorithm. There's no loss here. It doesn't even take any time. So let's go, let's do this. And then we'll head into the video. I'll give you a second. You good? Yeah, we good? Tight, all right, let's get to the video. We're gonna be judging it against our criteria, just like we do all the others. Taste, texture, mixability, and macros. One cup of liquid, shake it for 20 seconds, and we're gonna see exactly what we get out of this. So let's get right to it. Twenty seconds. Okay, that was easy. Nice and simple. Now, of course, just like a lot of proteins. I'm gonna have to take a lactose pill for this one. Again, cursed be the lactose intolerant, but here we are. So let me take the lactose pill and uh, we'll get right into it. So far, so good. Uh, looks a little bit foamy, but other than that, I'm not seeing a lot in here that would leave me feeling too concerned. All right, let's see what they got. First and foremost, for all of you out there who want to say something to the tune of, but you're only supposed to mix it with 150 milliliters of water. Counterpoint. Shut up. I don't care. We're testing this on the very same criteria we test all of them on. So if it doesn't meet the standard, so be it. It's their fault for making a weak protein. First things first, taste. Hmm, I gotta say this is a real step above the peanut butter flavor that we were getting from the uh, last protein I tested, the Vega Sport peanut butter protein. I mean, I know this is peanut butter chocolate, but the peanut butter flavor actually has more of like a peanutty nuttiness to it. And then also a sweetness to kind of balance that out a little bit, bring it out a little bit and, and kind of make it work a lot better. Uh, it just feels a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. The chocolate actually isn't so prominent, oddly enough. Um, but I'm not really mad at that too much. It kind of falls to the back in favor of the peanut butter flavor coming forward a little bit more. And I actually favor that a lot more than the other way around. So, got to give it to them on that end. It kind of feels hollow on the front and the back end, oddly enough. You kind of take a sip of it and you think to yourself, there's not a lot going on here in the front. Middle, you get a little bit of that sort of chocolate peanut buttery flavor. And then the end kind of falls back again. So, it kind of has this hollow feel to it, which is less than optimal, perhaps a result of the fact that there's about 100 milliliters more water than they suggest you should mix, you should mix it with, but uh, nonetheless, it is what it is. We use one cup of water here. Y'all don't like it. Again, shut up. <laughs> but all in all, not a bad flavor at all. Uh, I'd give this flavor a... I'm gonna give this flavor a 3.8. It's not bad. It's got a lot of work it could do to kind of bring itself up a little bit, make it a little bit more thick, like have a little bit more of a front end, maybe chocolatey flavor, or even a front end peanut buttery flavor with a little bit of that sort of back end chocolate that I was talking about. But just kind of bring me a little bit more to the table is all I'm saying, both front end, back end. The middle is not too bad. It's actually pretty good. It's just that the back end is very hollow and kind of leaves everything feeling empty. It's almost as if when you finish drinking, there's nothing there. It's almost like there's no evidence that you had anything in your mouth in the first place, which is sort of a strange experience to have, if that makes any sense. I kind of noticed it while I was already taking my sips for taste, but generally speaking, this is a 
relatively thin protein so it mixes very sort of thinly it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of thickness going on there which as some of you who have seen me do previous reviews would know i actually favor that so uh, I'm, I'm a fan it means you can kind of chug this pretty quick and go about your day and not really think about it too much so that's really nice Yeah, nothing in there to kind of like leave me feeling weird and guessing or wondering what's going on with it. It very much is plain, simple, clear cut, thin, nothing complicated going on there in terms of texture. It's very, very flat, which I, I like. I don't want there to be anything crazy going on with texture. It, it's, pro, it's a protein shake. It does not need to have complex textures. That's not what I'm here for. Uh, I'm going to give the texture a, uh, I'm going to give the texture a 4.3. I know there's a lot of point numbers out of this review. But I'm trying to get a little bit more specific and a little bit more uh, tuned. You know, be be a little bit more on the nose with what I'm trying to say and where I feel these proteins sit. Um, so, again, hopefully you appreciate that. If you got something you want to say about that, comment section, hit me up, let me know. Uh, but yeah. 4.3, I think that's a good place for this to sit. Mixability. Now, uh, I said when I, right when I opened it, it was kind of frothy, but that's actually tamed quite a bit. And it's only been less than 10 minutes. I mean, it's really not that fast at all, or not that slow, I should say at all. Uh, it's pretty quick. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. It, it's mixed pretty well. It looks like there might be one clump in here, but it's hard to tell. Nope, I don't think, I don't think it is a clump. Might just be a bubble. Point is, I'm not seeing a lot of evidence to say that this was hard to mix. So, yeah, got to give it up to him. In those 20 seconds, mixed completely clean in. I'm going to give it a five. I don't know what else I could possibly say. You probably weren't expecting me to say five. But really, when something mixes super easy, I wasn't really shaking it that hard. 20 seconds. It deserves a score like that. So yeah, it's gonna get the five. Now the macros. Uh, so the macros for Isoflex, uh, pretty <laughs> easy going stuff. I mean, when I usually when I talk to people about proteins, I kind of tell them that for the most part, calorically, they sit in this sort of 120 calorie range. And these guys sit really right on that dot. It's 120 calories per scoop. This uh, scoop serving is 30 grams. Uh, and you have 0.5 grams of fat zero grams of saturated fat, zero grams of trans fats, um, zero cholesterol, two grams of carbohydrates, which really not that much. It's super minimal. I, I can, I can get behind that. I mean, I would, I might dock a couple points just because it is one area where some people might take issue and I can understand that. Um, but I don't consider it to be a big deal really at all. And out of those, um, carbohydrates of the two grams that we're seeing there, zero grams are from dietary fiber, zero from total sugars. Um, and 27 grams of protein per scoop, which is uh, pretty solid. It's a 90% yield for this particular protein. Um, yeah, 103 milligrams of uh, calcium, 1.4 milligrams of iron, 120 milligrams of sodium, and 182 milligrams of potassium. So pretty solid mix. Um, Got to say, I'm pretty happy with the macros overall. 27 grams of protein is not a bad amount um, to have per scoop, especially if it's a 30 gram scoop. It's a pretty damn good yield. So I'll give it up to them on that point. I mean, I dock a couple points or, you know, just a little bit of, uh, out of their points for uh, for the two grams of carbohydrates. I'd like to see one or less, usually, if, I, if possible. Uh, but in this case, I think uh, we're looking at, we're looking at a four. I'd give this a four out of five for, for the macros, which honestly has it sitting a lot higher than I thought it was going to sit for, for a protein. I thought this was going to be a lot worse. I mean, there was a lot of talk uh, in the industry about how over time these guys have sort of fallen from grace because they've sort of uh, let themselves sit on their laurels for the many years they've been in the industry and not really innovated their product at all. But I guess when you have a product that actually is pretty solid to begin with, what's the point of innovating on something when the market hasn't really changed what it's looking for? It's looking for protein, looking for it to be clean, looking for it to be to mix well looking for it to have decent macros uh and yeah that's it, when you have that you don't really have to go anywhere much so yeah not really a bad protein um and especially for what it is it's relatively cost effective uh so yeah uh, i'm gonna give this a four
four out of five for the macros. Now, as for like additional notes that I think would be worth mentioning when it comes to Isoflex, I would say that these, uh, Almax is the first brand to sort of fire a shot uh, when it comes to the increase in prices for supplements that's coming and that has sort of started. I've mentioned that in a previous video. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put a card up in the top. I'm gonna be real, I don't know. I don't know which side these usually pop up on. I, I haven't been doing this bit long enough to be able to just go, it's gonna be right there. Point being, card. Click it, go ahead and check the video out. I talk about how supplement prices are gonna be increasing. I'll tell you how I kinda know this is probably gonna be coming pretty soon. And I tell you some of the signs I see that are letting me know that this is actually sort of creeping up and on the horizon. Almax being the first sign, the first sort of shot in this war, so to speak. And they bumped up the prices of their tubs by 10 bucks. So they're the first ones to raise prices. So we know what's coming, we know what's happening. So it's just a matter of sort of bracing ourselves and getting ready for that. that major change that's going to happen in the, the supplement industry uh, as a sort of mini update to that uh, it's worth noting that BioX, uh, from what i have heard they're going to be instead of increasing prices decreasing their six and a half pound bag of their whey isolate from six and a half pounds down to six pounds so not raising prices but cost per serving still affected in the same way really uh, so take that for you know what it's worth and no i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be really right on this one you're gonna want to watch out the future of higher prices for supplements is coming and i don't perceive it's going to be something a lot of people are going to be happy with point being this used to be a very cost effective protein now it's a slightly less cost effective protein and the first of the proteins to be slightly less cost effective so that hurts it a little bit in the end but nonetheless let's give this thing a total score shall we so the total score coming in is actually a 17.1 out of 20 well done isoflex didn't think you guys still had it in you after all these years but hey here you are putting numbers on the board and that's about an 85.5 so an 86 percent you know i'll bump it up again good teacher you know how i do i like to give the boys points when they deserve the points um but yeah it's uh it, you guys have done a good job here uh it's not really a bad protein i mean there's other guys doing some crazy things and adding a lot of different things to their protein probiotics blah 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 whatnot uh but to be fair if you know you've already got that covered you don't really want that in your protein you need that in your protein this is a great way to go in terms of keeping it clean simple tasty uh, and easy uh so yeah gotta say well done good job all max not bad at all that's actually a solid rating there nice nice solid a you know nice solid a and how can you argue with an a right um all right well that'll do it for this uh this review i guess If you enjoyed that, if you found it entertaining, if you found it informative, go ahead, throw a like down on the video. Also, make sure you uh, comment on the video. You know, let's have a discussion. Talk to me. Tell me about, you know, other protein supplements that you'd like to see me do a review on in the future. And I'll put it in my list and we'll address it, you know, one by one by one by one. Uh, and I'd love to hear from you guys and, you know, talk about what it is you guys are using for your particular fitness goals. So let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of all the future videos we got coming up uh, for the next while is probably going to be just like supplement reviews just banging them out one after the next because if the analytics tell me anything is that you guys like supplement reviews so we're gonna hit the supplement reviews pretty hard for a while unless i hear some crazy thing coming down the line in the fitness industry or something really huge pops off but probably just going to be supplement reviews for a while make sure to follow me on social media i'll put all my social media links in the description of the video below this video so come check me on instagram twitter facebook uh and uh, of course my website i've got a lot of information on there that might be of interest to you and of course you could just use it to contact me send me an email ask me a question or just have a you know general chat with me i love to hear from you guys like i said so don't be afraid to contact me uh, and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace